I love how Prager U on YouTube discusses the difference between justice and social justice. In social justice, we don't really see justice because it doesn't allow consequences to people who need to understand consequences so that they can become better citizens and people. Justice, on the other hand, throughout the entire Bible is God's desire. To bring justice is to take care of the vulnerable people in our midst, in our community. God expects his people to walk justly. God expects the believers to care for the vulnerable people in their midst. We see that in Isaiah 7, 1, 17. It says, learn to do what is right, promote justice, give the oppressed reason to celebrate, take up the cause of the orphan, defend the rights of the widow. Isn't that what Jesus came to do? We see that in Luke 4, because the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. And it was really to set the oppressed free, which goes back to Leviticus 25 and fulfills that scripture. It's so amazing to see God's beautiful heart. God is not tolerant. God is love. He isn't nice either. He's kind. Those are very important words that we see in the Bible, love, kindness, and justice, very different from the world. And it's not something that is mandated from a government or a people group. It's something that we're compelled to do. We see in the New Testament too, in James 1, 27, True spirituality that is pure in the eyes of our Father God is to make a difference in the lives of the orphans, the widows, and their troubles, and to refuse to be corrupt by the world's values. How beautiful God's plans are if we will shema, which is to hear and obey God, if we will do what he asks. So my prayer is, Lord, show us how to love your people. Love them through us, O God. Love them through us, that we might be doers of the word, that we might walk justly and care for the vulnerable in our midst.